today's video is my makeup tutorial so you know that I haven't done one in a while because I always focus on fashion, college, whatever. Sometimes I have some makeup that I present to you with hauls but I never gotten a chance to do a makeup tutorial. So this makeup tutorial is inspired by my earrings that I got from Forever 21. So obsessed that I cannot wait to wear this really often to summer events. And yellow is literally trending so I have to get yellow in this closet. So this choker I got from Shein. I know it's rusting but I still love it. I got this tank top from Forever 21 and oh my goodness Forever 21 you are literally getting me to buy literally everything yellow to add it to my closet like nobody's business let's get started with this makeup tutorial here's me with a bare face just please excuse the edges it looks so bad but it'll look a little better when I get dressed and everything so I'm just gonna start off with the brows just use an empty mascara wand to come up the brows and then I have my eyebrow gel by e.l.f. in a color espresso and I'm going to make sure to fill in my brows and then finish filling in the first spots with my brow was from Anastasia and then use the spoolie part of it also to comb out to make it look like hairs and now I'm going to use my concealer from Maybelline to fit me concealer and make sure I use a wider angle brush and then Kinda, kinda, kinda comb it a little downwards so it kind of looks like little hairs kind of come up from there. Make it look a little bit more natural. Make sure you blend that in. And now I'm using my clear mascara by Maybelline, the Great Wash, to set the brows in. And now I'm using my glitter primer from NYX. And it's really, really good to have the eye shadow sticking in all the day. You know, summer, you know, everything just kind of melts away. And then this kind of helps. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier powder to set in the primer because it blends in with my skin so right. And I love it so much. I did it with a big fluffy brush. And now the first eyeshadow comes from the Sahara palette. The first one by Juvia's with a big fluffy brush again, a little smaller, and using Jamila on the crease as a transition color. I love it, it's one of my favorites, and it kind of reminds me of a little sunset, which is the mood for this tutorial. It's a little subtle and it's not a little it's not too much. Oh, and I forgot to put in tape. Very shiny gold tape to set my mood for the summer. Glowing ink. Now I'm using a smaller paper brush to put in Zane from the, the Saharan Blush palette and I'm gonna put it in also in the crease but more specifically in the outer corner of the crease. I kind of like the darker pink but a darker bright pink and just intensify it a little bit more and now I'm mixing the three sh middle shades of my favorite artistry palette and now I'm putting it in the lid part kind of mixing these three together to make this little baby pink thing and it makes it look so pretty oh my god and now I'm using the second shade of the Mr. Heron by Juvia's palette the Rodave and I'm just putting it in the inner corner to kind of make a little pop in the eyes it makes it look pretty really, really lemonade now that's the lemonade that we need and now I'm using the Jamila again and I'm just gonna mix well blend all these shades up in the crease so it won't be harsh and now I'm using the Senegal under the brows for that gold effect because oh yeah and don't forget to pull out the tape we're gonna have to clean that up a little later let's now it's mascara time, so I'm going to prime my lids with the Wet n Wild Mascara Primer. And it's optional if you want to line your lids, but for this tutorial, I don't want to. And it takes a little while to do it perfectly for me. So I'm just going to prime my lashes top and bottom. And now I'm using this Black and Green Tube Mascara from Essence. And this one gives it a false lash. Well, false lash effect. Sorry for mispronouncing everything. 
but now I'm gonna prime my face with the elf primer I think even though I'm not doing foundation it's great to do that and now I'm bronzing up my face with shade Abby from the Saharan blush volume one I want it to be like a little bit of a kind of like a little tanner thing on my face kind of make my face a little tan I did all the like points of the face to kind of contour for now that's will technique brush to put in my highlighter because I don't know I just like doing that with that brush I'm just doing it at my highlighting points and even I can just do it on the shoulder bones to have that pop and now I'm using my NYX liquid lipstick and the shade downtown beauty and now we finish with this look y'all last thing you need to do before you get off the door just hide your hair like this and spray this is the mario bardescu skincare which is facial spray with ally herbs and rose water the best spray ever and then all you need to do is to Go on to your activities. Maybe you're just hanging out. Maybe you're going out. Maybe going to a concert. I thought like this look would be really fun for summer now that yellow is trending and I want to incorporate my favorite color pink. And this is inspired by my earrings that I got at Forever 21. And I'm really, really, really obsessed with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up comment something good and please subscribe to this channel for more videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody!